Hello, it's Reia, and welcome to another Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is a Goodreads group that was originally created by Laney from Ginger Reads Laney, but is currently hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. Links to the Goodreads group and the host channels are down in the description as per usual. But without further ado, let's get down to the topic, which is our favorite redemption arcs. And oh boy, I have a lot of redemption arcs I love, and a lot of characters that fit the criteria of a redemption arc. So, if you are not familiar with redemption arcs, it is basically when a character that is uh, that is in an antagonistic or villainous role gets redeemed or something happens um, in the plot or they get character development that kind of redeems them, uh, redeems them and they might start serving a protagonist role or uh, otherwise just be a help to the protagonists in some way. Yeah, I have a few and I'm very excited to do this uh, topic, so let's get started. First up on my list is Kurumi from Kimi ni Todoke by Karo Hoshina. And Kurumi kind of serves the mean girl uh, role and, and, and an antagonistic role in Savako, the main character's life. Um, she is her rival uh, for the affections of the main uh, male protagonist. And uh, she basically tries to manipulate Kazehaya's and Savako's relationship so that they won't end up together and that she will end up uh, getting Kazehaya's affection and they will end up becoming an item. So she is a very traditional mean girl at the start of the story. But instead of letting her just stay as the mean girl and, and the kind of antagonistic bad girl, Karuhoshina uh, spends time developing her character and showing that she is a lot more than the traditional bad girl or mean girl in the high school uh, rom-com. And I love that. I love uh, the development she gets. I love that uh, they show that just because she is this... Um, romantic rival to Savako, they, they show that it's also like her living her life to the fullest and trying to make the best of a bad situation. And I just recommend this series for anyone who wants to see good developed female female friendships, like actual friendships between female characters that aren't just like not like other girls nitpicking and stuff like that because this um, series is a delight it subverts so many toxic tropes about female friendships and Kurumi is one of my favorite characters in this series because she doesn't just stay this mean girl she actually becomes a fully fleshed out human being and I love that so Kurumi is um, on my list. Even though she does pretty despicable things, in the grand scheme of things, they are pretty harmless. Next up on my list is Scar from Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa. Scar is introduced as an antagonist, as a villain. Um, he is basically introduced as the serial killer who is killing uh, state alchemists. Uh, so basically alchemists who have sworn themselves to work for the military um, in exchange for funds from the government to expedite their research into alchemy. And Scar is a survivor from a religious and ethnic genocide that was perpetrated by Amestres with the help of state alchemists. And he is uh, very bitter about it, and he basically is on a venge vengeful killing spree because of it. Um, I won't go into spoiler territory, uh, but I will say that there is so much more to his character. And while the narrative never excuses any 
uh, of the things he does. He never gets forgiven for killing people, obviously. Uh, but there is a sense that the author wants to show that he is also a victim. He is also um, suffering from immense trauma and that the situation, the the things he does could have been avoided if the Ishwal gen genocide didn't happen because he wasn't always like this. Um, so it's not necessarily a redemption arc so much as a kind of look-see into what makes this character tick and kind of you as a reader gaining more insight and more understanding into his character which then might make you feel more sympathetic towards him even while you are not necessarily forgiving him for his actions. So Scar is on the number four slot. Third up on my list is Jamie Lannister from the Song of Ice and Fire series and in a similar vein to Scar, Jamie is not necessarily redeemed for all the shitty actions that he does uh, prior to this, uh, prior to the start of this book series and during it. He is still very much a Lannister and loyal to his own, um, own family, but he gains insights into what his family has done and kind of. Um, gains empathy uh, towards the small folk and also uh, with his relationship with Brienne of Tarth he kind of starts to um, he kind of starts to try and become the idealized knight he starts to strive towards the knightly values that Brienne is so adamant that anyone um, who has pledged to become a knight uh, should value those um, knightly vows and be, be, try to be the best person they can be. And Jamie is so moved uh, and touched by this that he starts to strive to become a better person. He doesn't always succeed, uh, but it's fun and interesting to see his growth as a character and see him go through these introspective uh, moments and see how this one um, one person can have an, such an impact in his life. I love reading uh, about Jamie's point of view and I am looking forward to seeing how this arc of his will come to fruition. And then number two on my list is Felix Harrogate, which might be a little surprising because Felix is a protagonist of this entire series. He is the protagonist of the Doctrine of Labyrinth series. Uh, he is one of the point of view characters. And you might be wondering, well, wh what, what kind of redemption arc does he get? This whole book series is one big redemption arc for Felix because Felix is, for the most part, a raging asshole with so much baggage that you could probably snap a few grandma's backs with that kind of baggage. Seriously, this man has problems, so many problems, and he takes them out on all the characters he's close to. He is he does very despicable things purely out of selfish reasons and that's part of what makes him such a fantastic character but because he is allowed to be very complex and he is allowed to grow and the best part about this series is seeing how much he grows as a person and how much he uh, tries to become a better person for his own sake and for the sake of other characters uh, in the book series. He's just a delightful character to read about, um, in my opinion. Um, your mileage may vary. Some people don't like to read about um, hideously despicable characters, but I kind of find it fascinating. And he is one of my favorite literary characters. So Felix is on my number two spot.
And who could it be? Who could be on the number one spot of this video? Who has the best redemption arc? Well, if you know me, you are not surprised when I say Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. Zuko has hands down the best and most balanced and perfectly written redemption arcs I've ever seen in any media. He is perfection. Um, he starts out as an antagonist and he kind of goes through this really complex uh, self-search and kind of he is on a quest to find himself and find a place where he belongs. He has this conflict within himself where he tries to do the right thing by his country and he tries to please um, his father and he tries to be this kind of model of what a crown prince should be. He has this beautiful arc where he kind of tries to find a balance of staying true to his country but also staying true to himself and kind of um, kind of realizing uh, the bad things that have happened um, hi historically because of his country and it's just I love Zuko so much he is such a complex character and the best part is that they give him time uh, over three seasons to grow, grow and he makes stupid mistakes and he falls into the trap of villainy and over and over again and makes mistakes but at the same time there's this perpetual growth in him. I just love him, okay? I have seen Avatar The Last Airbender from start to finish about five times. I've introduced it to my, so many of my friends. They probably are sick and tired of me talking about it. But I love it. And Zuko is my favorite character. He is my trust child. So yeah, he's on the number one spot. And there you have it. This has been my take on the redemption arcs topic. Um, tell me in the comments what are your favorite redemption arcs. Care to enlighten me on some books or TV series that I should read or watch that have some sweet despicable human trash bags that maybe get redeemed by the end. I am very keen on knowing those. And if you like this video, please consider giving the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye bye!